Hi, how are you? This is Zeta, your guiding luminary. Welcome to my channel. And uh, if this is your first time, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm uh, what I, I refer to as a success coach. I work with clients to be a success, be it in a personal or professional um, situation. So I help the people, the person that I am to be the best version of themselves. And today, that big I am is being confronted with a very, very difficult decision. If you look at the card, you're gonna see it's upside down. And uh, I use the deck, The Enchanted Map by Colette Baron reed And prior to recording, I shuffled and this card fell out. Normally when the card's right side up, it's a good thing because you're walking around, going through your journey in life, and you're being presented with an option of two decisions. And just for the sake, I'm gonna return this card over. And you can see there's two doors, birds, stars, beautiful. That means you're being confronted or encouraged to make a decision about something that's very, very positive. Today, however, the card came upside down. So it seems you are being confronted with a difficult situation to make a decision between two choices. Um, you might find out at work, you may have to leave your job or take a less, pay, a less paying job. So you might be stepping down. So that's really not a good decision or a difficult decision for you to make. So you are confronted with this opportunity and unfortunately, it's not going to give you the best result for now. Remember, nothing's permanent. This negative choice down the road can lead you to something else. So by not accepting that position in this company, you may decide to leave for other opportunities and you find yourself in a company or a situation where it's much better for you. You like the people better. You might have a better paying job. Or in the end, you might even start your own business. So sometimes confronting, being confronted with a, an opportunity to make a decision, both outcomes seem negative. Don't take it that way. This can also apply if you're going to school, you're applying to go to university, for example, and you wanna get into a commerce program. And then your grades were not good enough. So you ended up being bumped into your second choice, which could have been in psychology. And for all you know, you might realize, hey, I really, really like this. So while you're in the program, you're getting more and more comfortable, more confident in the courses you're choosing, the people you're meeting, and you're really resonating with this new career option. And at the time, it sound, may have not felt good. Oh, gosh, I'm, getting, I'm not going to get into commerce. Here I am stuck in my choice. Number two, should I continue going to the school or should I go somewhere else? My number two university. So you're confronted with two negative decisions, but in the end, it may be the best decision because sooner or later down the road, this card may flip over. You may be presented with two great options. So in the future, you may go back to school and there's two universities who wanna take you into this master's program. Why? Because you did so well in your psychology bachelor's degree better than you can ever imagine because you've realized you've aligned yourself and you're doing your life purpose. And this can also happen on a personal note. You might be dating somebody or you're looking to date and you meet two guys or girls in a bar or at work and they're not really the kind of person you're normally attracted to, but you choose one of the two or you date the two at the same time, not on the same night, but at the same time, of course, and that person may not be the person or the other person may not be for you, but by going out with them, they might introduce you to somebody who might vibe with you much better. So had you never gone out on these dates with guys that were not your type or girls that were not your type, they wouldn't have introduced you to their friend who is your type. So what I'm trying to do here is encourage you Take that step on your journey and make that difficult decision. You are in control. Empower yourself by taking 
the decision, you're responsible for the results. So think about that. Even though the decision is difficult, you made the decision and down the road, it turned out to be the best decision. So isn't that empowering? Don't give your power to other people. Don't let that company fire you or demote you before you had a chance to find a job. Don't let that university discourage you from continuing your education because you, you didn't make it to the program you wanted to. And don't let those people discourage you that even though they're not your type, go ahead, explore. They may lead you to new people. And for all you know, might be a partner in crime and the person you marry and spend the rest of your life with. So empower yourself, make the decisions, have the confidence and the courage to do so. So what I wanted to do here is I've put at the bottom three crystals. There's a green malachite, which is right in front of the box. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. There it is. And it kind of matches the green in the card. What's really beautiful about this, this crystal, it's a crystal that gives you healing qualities. It's extremely versatile. It clears your chakras. And what's very important here, as is the amethyst, which is right next to it, it if you put it on your third eye, which is on your forehead between your two eyes, you will activate your third eye, which will help you open up your third eye and it will improve your spiritual awakening. If you were to put it on your heart, it would open up your heart chakra and open up all this love that's bottled up inside of you and open your heart to unconditional love first and foremost for yourself. And once you love yourself unconditionally, you can do it to others. And also the Malachite encourages you to take the risks. So here you are this week or in the next week, very short term, you'll be presented with an option that's a difficult one, but this crystal will help you make that decision. I've also, and also what's more important is it will give you the, the, the empowering you to take responsibility for your growth and your decisions. And your maturity will empower you to make smarter choices moving forward. And your wisdom will increase because even if it is a bad decision and you're hurt, you don't get into the program you want, don't get the job you want or the love it at that moment in time, it's a learning experience. Don't forget, we are all here on earth to learn as we learn our spirit and our soul grows. So to give you courage to move forward, I also put the tiger's eye crystal which is the brown striped crystal on the right here. And this crystal is very, very, very beautiful. And this crystal, if you wanted to meditate, I would suggest you put it on your solar plexus, which is right above your belly button. And this is where a lot of people lack self-confidence, self-esteem, self-empowerment. And this crystal will give you that, I can do it attitude and perspective. The courage, like the tiger has this roaring courage to move forward in life and be that best version of yourself. And what is your best version of yourself, you ask? Well, ask your amethyst crystal. That too, if you put on your forehead or on your crown chakra above your head, it's going to give you the motivation, the inspiration to connect you with spirit, to give you the information you're looking for, the guidance you need to make these important decisions and the courage to do them with a roar. Well, I hope you enjoy this reading. Feel free to reach out to me. Please like and subscribe. This is a new channel. If you'd like to have a personal reading, feel free to reach out to me. My information is in the description below. I also offer success coaching sessions um, for an hour or four sessions as well in packages. I also offer courses on self-empowerment, self-confidence, so feel free to reach out to me whenever it's convenient for you. And let's chat. Thank you again for being here. I look forward to seeing you soon.
Have a great day. Bye-bye.